Oh my god, what should I do? Oh my god, why did I forget about the files? <sighs> oh my god, what should I do? <laughs> this is going... no... <laughs> I think they are gonna. Oh no. Mm. Uh, yeah, my pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home? How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble, like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now. Get do the you? hell away from huh? her, man! Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know, you're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Oh my god. You know, the thing is, <clears throat> I wanted to blame David. Spoiler alerts. In the episode, um, yeah, and now I'm I I I I know I cannot do that because um, and because then he will say, oh yeah, and you are you know pod dealer or something, and then you know. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Man, David is scary. He could hurt my Blackwell scholarship. Yeah, and we already... I still feel weak, but I could change that. Yeah, and we already um, hid the truth about Nathan. I'm really sorry, Chloe. I know you are sweet and all that, but... <sighs> that scholarship... I don't want to get suspended. Getting suspended is like, yeah, we're taking your scholarship. Let me just see how this goes, okay? I, I really hope she could forgive us. For whatever, whatever happens. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. No, 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 no. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. She wanted us Shit. to hide, so I'm hiding. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. I ordered you to never go through my files. You obviously have. I didn't touch your files, David. I could care less about your files. You care about starting shit, Chloe, and it's getting old. He's such an asshole. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. 
I wish you'd leave, Joyce. Like now! <sighs> Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast! You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I'm so sorry, Chloe. I cannot do anything. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. Yeah, but, you know, we are taking Damn, him down. what are you down. waiting for? Open the window! We are taking him down, Chloe. And we just made it possible. I'm really sorry. I had to do that. But at least now, we all know what kind of asshole he is. He just hit her. Oh my god. <laughs> is this the end of the episode? Are we already at the end of the episode one? Yep. God, I might just catch up and do episode four with you. So cool. Dope. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Well... Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Okay, uh, just one thing. I need to check if I have all the photos. Um, let me just check. I should join Chloe, yeah, I know. Um, Warren. You know, let's read about what um, Max thinks of Warren. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn. <laughs> well, you didn't look through all of the folders, so how do you know? And I am thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend. Ouch. And we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren's a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally the same age here. He makes me smile. Well, I think that's very important. But you know, not implying anything on you. Um, let's just read about one more person, Chloe. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar but so different. She's all grown up, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and pan clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. 
she still kind of looks like a pirate. Except one who stage dives. <laughs> I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out no matter what. Now, I'm kind of angry at Max for, you know, not being in touch with Chloe because obviously I cannot imagine how did she, how did she even survive this? It's oh yeah, I I was meant to look at photos. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I have no idea how did she survive it. It's just the bird. Oh come on! I missed a picture again. Oh come on, dude. No, the picture is here. Okay, I remember now. The bird. See? That's the exact same bird. I mean, it looks like it. I got you. Mm. See? And I killed it. It's... yeah. Okay, let's join Chloe now. Hmm. Anything to look? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's speed it up. Look at her running. <laughs> we actually r run quite. Birds are so way. lucky; they can always escape. Yeah. Warren. Earth to Max, your white knight Warren here. I know you were worried about me. <laughs> I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. NP. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Okay. Okay. Again, Max, why would you not at least call him and t and ask if he's okay? Max. Hmm. But you see... Uh, she likes Chloe, she likes Chloe also, and she didn't keep in touch for five years, and she loved Chloe, she was her best friend, and she also, you know, just avoided the feelings just to, you know, not to get involved emotionally, so, you know, you never know. Okay, should I look at something here? No, a photo. Don't forget, don't forget, that is a cool shot. Look at it. Photo. Okay. <sighs> Look how beautiful. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I'm sorry I wussed out. No worries. I know my stepdorf can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home. I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. 
He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. <laughs> Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. <laughs> he's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his way. <gasps> what? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Oh, God. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Oh, well. Let's call the police. Police wouldn't help us. They have police in the pockets. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Go, 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 go. Go, Max. Go, Max. Don't be scared. I got you back. Now we have to hide here. Alright. Not. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon.
11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh, no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <sighs> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's Clips. like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, oh, yeah. start coming. from the beginning. Definitely. Tell me everything. Okay. Well, this episode is longer than I expected to be. There is absolutely no way of finding out what is going on. Okay, the end of the game. Let's see uh, our choices now. Okay, so I hid the truth. Minority. Uh, 35... 33%. <laughs> anyway. I comforted Victoria, majority. You intervened to help Kate, yes I did. I stayed hidden, 36%. Okay. You let Daniel, yes I did. Okay, again minority. I helped Alyssa. I erased clean slate. I watered my plants. I didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. You didn't touch Victoria's photos. Well, I did, but, you know. Uh, I wrote on a dirty RV. <laughs> 26%. You let the bird die. Okay, you didn't break Chloe's snow globe. You left evidence while searching through David's stuff. Yeah, I did that. You read David's files. Yes, I did. Okay, so 
so that's the end of the episode one and that's where I'm going to end the episode thank you so much for watching I'm really sorry that it's so long um, yeah bye